Welcome back. Now, whether it's man-made, technological, or a natural disaster, the Office of Emergency Management makes it their mission to, pre to prevent the loss of life and reduce property damage for those in our community. Now, they have several ways of keeping us safe, and Judy Lynn is here to tell us about a new one that we can start to use right away. Judy, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here this morning. You know what? I think this is going to be a great opportunity for us to just talk about what your office does in general so that people yeah. kind of know what you do. So let's kind of like get a blanket answer. Start there. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So the Office of Emergency Management is kind of an extension of a couple of state offices, um, the Arizona Department of Emergency and Military Affairs and the Arizona Department of Homeland Security. We're your local, uh, local folks to, to do emergency preparedness for this area. And we, our focus really is um, preserving life safety and property safety as best we can during emergencies and disasters that may affect our area. Um, that kind of makes us seem a little bit dry. We're not really in touch with everybody or we haven't been for a while. And so so we're trying to do a better job of getting out into the community so that people know us, so that they, they don't just know about us when something disastrous happens, but, but that we become more of a partner to them uh, all the time instead of just when they need us. That makes sense. You're trying to be a resource that they can access easily and freely, and that's why you have a cool new website. So tell us what we yes. can expect from that. Well, thank you for bringing that up. That's yeah. <laughs> that's very exciting for us. This has been uh, a project about 10 months in the making, if you can imagine that. Our director, Jeff Guthrie, it was his brainchild, and he came to us when I, I very first started and said, this is what we need to be doing. So it's uh, you can find us at emergencyalerts.pima.gov, and the idea behind this website really is to be one-stop shopping. During periods periods of downtime where we're not experiencing an emergency, where people don't need to go to get in the moment information. They can find preparedness tips, they can find community partners. Um, we try to put the agencies up that we partner with. They'll also find regular feeds like T T um, TEP outage feeds and our, our Twitter and Facebook feeds are available as well. And then there's an entire contact page. So if you have questions about law enforcement or from your school district, it's a wonderful resource so that you would only need to go to one place to find this information. But the exciting piece of it, and I, I saw that we had the yeah. website up a minute ago. So on that very front page where those pictures are, when there is an emergency and we need to push information out quickly, those pictures will disappear. And in place of them will be a red flashing box that will contain information. Um, for instance, if we needed to evacuate or, or if we needed to let people know where shelters are, that's going to be the information that people are going to come to find and it, it'll be front and center when they need it. Well, and I love that you mentioned that you guys are on social media also. We got we you sure on Facebook, are. we have you on Twitter. And I love also that you're making it a point to say, we don't have to be your contact when something bad is happening. Because if I know emergency right. management, you guys are also really high end on the preparedness. Be prepared that's ahead right. of time. So how can the public really get involved with that portion of it? You know, that's a great question. Yeah. And we have wonderful avenues for people to, to become involved. The LEPC, the Local Emergency Planning Committee, is uh, one way that people can get involved with our office. Uh, we also have the COAD, the Community Organizations Active in Disasters. And actually, we're recruiting for membership all the time. This would be an appropriate place for civic groups with, with human volunteers who want to participate. But we're also trying to expand out into community resources and use businesses. This group does preparedness planning, but they're also really necessary during the response and the recovery portion of any disaster. Okay, so it's like a nice big, again, infrastructure for Absolutely. everybody to get information. A lot of different groups involved. Uh, now, we live in Tucson, Arizona, and a lot of people might be thinking to themselves, nothing happens here. <laughs> right. Aside from a monsoon and, say, a flash flood, nothing happens. So what would you tell people is important about being prepared even here in Tucson? Absolutely. I think most people think about emergencies and disasters on the scale of Katrina. Right. And, and though there are those types of emergencies, and we certainly are, are susceptible to some like heat, if, if uh, the power were to go out for a significant amount of time during the summer, it could be something similar. But... An emergency really is just anything that overpowers your resources or overwhelms your resources. So for some people, that could be a house fire. That could be flooding. It could be that your children are at school and you are separated from them by a wash that floods out and now you can't get to your kids. So those are the kinds of emergencies that we talk about that we experience locally and we want people to have preparedness plans, communication plans. Those kinds of things are available on that website or they can come to us um, for help planning the 
for these kinds of mm -hmm. emergencies. Well, just speaking to you, Judy, I'm like interested and excited about emergency preparedness now, and thank I think you. that's sort of what we needed in this town. People thank were you. kind of maybe getting lackadaisical about it. So I want to thank you so much yes. for coming on with your passion and telling us thank all you. about it. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you very much. Of course. Now, to learn more about emergency preparedness, log on to emergencyalerts.pima.gov and make sure to follow their social media accounts, and they're listed there on your screen, so take a look.